All right, we're back with the truck and some things have been done. Let me flip us around so you can see the changes. So as you can see, the truck is up somewhat and it's got the cab back on the frame and there is a, a lot going on here. So the engine's setting in and um, we were a little worried that it wouldn't fit, but by golly, look at that. It fits. Had to change the motor mounts around just a bit, shimmy it here and there, but Vic worked his magic and he saved us from having to cut into that firewall. Cutting into that firewall would have meant a lot of changes down the road. The air conditioning, the heater controls, all the wiring, a lot would have had to change. And so being able to make it fit was a huge advantage. Um, you can see the suspension is kind of just mocked on there. We're gonna do a little bit more with that today. The frame's been C-notched. Um, there's a lot to show you today. So new doors are in and while they're just put in here for now. Um, haven't really messed around with them at all. But the new doors came in. And then a, here's another one. All of the suspension in the back is getting put together. This is the four link. And I know I'm going pretty quickly. I'll slow down next time I'm just kind of trying to show all of the new stuff happening. Uh, one thing that was not our fault was uh, the company that sent us the axle and did this rear housing, actually, it was too long. Their measurements were off. And so the problem was that these mounts were already welded on. And so this is all gonna have to come apart to cut those out and send it back to the company um, but on a good note the company was super apologetic and absolutely easy to work with so they don't ha they didn't have the TCI mounts in stock so they said don't worry about it just do whatever you have to do to save those and then we're gonna take care of it so that was really helpful but a lot of stuff going on. I want to go inside the cab and show you where the transmission sits. Had to cut the floor out just a little bit to make it work, make it fit there. Then there'll be a big plate that gets put over that. And I don't know if I showed on the last video. I don't think I did, but all the holes have been cleaned up that need to be. And we're still, so this part, the cowl came in, so that'll be replaced. But look at that, the engine, the Coyote is resting <laughs> at home, sitting where it needs to sit. So there you go, quite a bit. I don't think I showed this last time either, the gas can, um, where the old gas line was, we put, um, closed that up, because that's gonna be in the bag. There's the four link. So there you go. There's the truck coming along, really hopping along now. Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. There's a lot. I'm trying not to miss things. <laughs> I know there's a lot that's, ha that's happening though. So there you go. Next time you see it, more and more is done. But uh, it sits at about a 2% rake, so slightly up two in the back. Two degree. Two degree. Two degree rake. Yeah. All right, so keep following along. Trucks come along. And that's, that's what we have for this week.